Hello friends, this video on probability part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 4. Some examples of conditional probability. We define the probability of getting a second green ball given the first is red. Please note the first ball is replaced. We'll take one example where the first ball is not replaced. Please note in this case the first ball is replaced. So from this you take out one ball, put it back and then you take out another ball. Right? Three step process. Take out one ball, put it back, take out another ball. Now I'm asked that find the probability of getting second green ball. That is Variety of getting second green, the condition given is first is red. So now let's do the same thing in the diagram. I have this jar, I take out one ball, first ball, right? It can be green, it can be red. Probability of getting green is how much? 2 by 5. So green is 2 by 5. Probability of red is how much? 3 balls. 3 by 5. Correct? This is my first chance. Now I put the ball back. I have put the ball back. Now balls are exactly same, right? Whatever balls I had, exactly same balls I have. Given the first is red, first is red given. Now I have to take out the second ball, right? Second ball can also be red or green. Since this ball is already placed, I don't care now. The second ball can also be red or green. The second ball can be red, three by five, green, two by five. Why? Because we are taking out the ball from the same jar. Since we have reverted back the first ball, it doesn't matter the probability doesn't change. Right? So my question was find the probability of getting second green ball even the first is red is 2 by 5. This is using my diagram. Please note, using my graph, I knew this much jar. I had this green and red since it got reverted back so now at this point i have again five balls right in the jar now from this jar i took out the ball right so given that it is red it doesn't matter here because the ball is replaced so this condition doesn't matter the conditional probability doesn't matter actually right because you are starting fresh you are again taking out a new ball so this probability doesn't matter and you get the probability of getting second ball green is 2 by 5 and even if you uh, get this from the fresh you get 2 by 5 right you see from the fresh jar you take out the ball the probability is green is 2 by 5 and with this condition of the 2 by 5 because the ball was replaced so it may happen let's try to solve in the formula the formula says probability of second green when the first is red is nothing but probability of intersection of second green and first red by probability of first red. Correct. So let's suppose I took out the ball. The ball was first ball was uh, it can be green one. Let's suppose this G one, G two, R one, R two, R three. We'll name this ball. It can be second ball, it can be red one, it can be red two, or it can be red three. This is my first throw. First took, right? First uh, I took out one ball. The second can be this green. Since I put all the balls back, it can be either a G1, it can be G2, it can be R1, it can be R2, it can be R3. Similarly, for all these, right, it will be same, right? It can be Second one will be all same. So if you see, there are 25 such scenarios. 
if I make a pair of first and second, they are 25 first and this is my first and this is my second. So if you combine this 5 into 5, there are 25 such scenarios. Correct? For example, if you want, I can write here not all but some. For example, G1, G2, right, is 1. G1, sorry, G1, G1 is 1. G1, G2 is 1. Then G1, R1, G1, R2, G1, R3. This is one set, right? Then we have instead of G1, I take G2 here. I'll take G2, G1, G2, 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 R1. Then I'll take G2, R2. Then I'll take G2, R3. Then I'll take R1, R1, G1. Like this, if you take there are 25 scenarios. Correct. So my sample space has 25 elements. 25 elements in the sample space. The probability of getting first red and second green. First red and second green. If you see first red and second green, there are two scenarios each, two here, two here. So there are total six scenarios. Right? Probability of second green and first red is nothing but R1 G1, R2 G2, right? R sorry, R1 G1, R2, R2 G1, R3 G1. That is one. R1 G2, R2 G2, and R3 G2. Correct? R1 G1, R2 G1, R3 G1, or R1 R R1 G2, R2 G2, R3 G2. Six values, right? This is probability of getting this by probability of getting first red. So probability of getting these are there are six case by total number of sample space 25, 6 by 25. And probability of getting first red will be what? Will be actually 15 by 25. Why? Because there are 3 here and 3 into 5, 50 by 25. Correct? Because if you get R1 first, then you may get G1, G2, R1, R2, R3 as second, 5 scenarios. You get R2 first, then you can get G1, G2, R1, R2, R3 as second, 5 more scenarios. If you get R3 first, you may get G1, G2, R1, R2, R3 as second, 5 more scenarios, 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15. So if you solve this, you get 6 by 15 and that is nothing but 2 by 5. So if you see, the result we obtained here and here are same. So why I am doing using both approaches to make you understand that you can solve the question either in graphical way or using formulas. Let's take the same example. In this case, the ball is not replaced. You take out one ball and then you take out another ball. You don't replace. Only two step here. Please note, you don't replace the ball. Now again, the same question, probability of getting second green ball given the first is third. Let's solve this question using graphical way first. I like the graphs way. So you have this jar, you take out the ball, it can be either green or it can be either red. If it is green, it can be G1, G2. If it is red, it can be R1, R2, R3, right? So it will be G1, G2 or it is R1, R2, R3. So in this case, the probability of getting green was 2 by 5 and it is 3 by 5. Correct? Now since the ball is not replaced now, now I have to, I am given that the first is red. This is true is given. Now I have to get the second ball. Right? So if, if this is red given, my sample space after this will be, my sample space will be, one ball is gone, right? So I have two green and two red balls. Understand this. The moment I am told that one ball is taken out and the first ball is red, so instead of three red balls, I have two green and two red balls. Now from this, I have to take out one ball. Correct? And I will find that the probability of getting that is, so in this case, green can be, can be G1, green are two possible options and reds are also two possible options, right? Two reds, two greens. Because we are not sure which red to count. So probability of getting green given the first is red is nothing but 2 by 4, 2 options for green, 
and the possible option is 4 that is so that is my answer using the graphical way probability of getting a second green ball given the first is red is 1 by 2 either if the ball is not placed let's do the same thing using formula correct so this guy is probability of getting second green given first is red is nothing but probability of getting second green intersection first red by probability of first red. So probability of first red is 3 by 5 we know. Correct? This is something we know. 3 by 5 because there are 5 balls, there are 3 reds in the first case, right? So it is 3 by 5. This I have to find the probability of getting second green given the first ball is red. So if first ball is red, let's see the intersection of this. So second green and first red. So first red is R1, R2, R3. And second green is G1. I'll take this guy. It can be G2 also. So R1, R2, R3. G2, G2, G2. So there are six possible options for second green and first red. If you see, there are three here and three here. Six possible options for second green and first red. Okay. And how many possible options are there? How many, for example, in the last case, since the balls were not replaced, so since the balls were replaced, there were 25 possible outcomes. But in this case, there won't be 25 possible outcomes. There'll be 20 possible outcomes. Why? Because in first case, you are to select five, right? So there are five options. Second case, one is gone. So you have left with only four. So instead of five into five, they are into five into four. There are only 20 possible scenarios. Correct? So this is 60. Hope you understand this. In the earlier case, the balls were replaced. So it was five into five because in first uh, took, there are five balls, five options. Second took, five, again, again, five balls, five different options. So five into five, 25 possible combinations were there. But in this case, first took, there are five balls. In second took, since the ball was not replaced, there are only four balls. So the second took had only four options. Total options is five into four into with the combination. So the probability of getting second green in first red is six by 20 divide by probability of getting first red that is 3 by 5 correct and if you solve this this becomes uh, let's suppose 20 so I'll multiply by 4 both side right this gets cancelled this becomes 6 by 12 that is good. so if you see the answer we should get here the answer we should get here are both same 1 by 2 so it doesn't matter what kind of question you have, you can either use the graphical way if you want to understand things or you can use the formula also and you can get the answer. So in this case, we the trick part was finding this one, second green and first red. We found that there's six possible options in this and also since the ball is not replaced, the sample space will have only 20 elements, it won't have 25. So those were the two tricks in this question. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.